Sound check. One, two, three. Sound check. One, two, three, four. Toyota Arena. Toyota Arena. Ontario Fury play host to the Tacoma Stars. Check, check. One, two. One, two, one, two. Check.
Inside beautiful Toyota Arena here in, in the Inland Empire. Fans want to welcome you across the MASL tonight. Myself, Brian Tabajay, alongside Jose Duran. Jose, so nice to be back here. We get to call a game here at home for the first time in the 2019-2020 campaign. Yeah, it took a while for us to get back home here in uh, the newly Toyota Arena in the beautiful city of Ontario, California. But it's great. First game of the season. Excited to be back. Excited to be part of another season here with Ontario Fury. Should be a great one. Unfortunately, the Fury starting off the season 0-2. But home opener definitely has a different vibe, different feel. You fear it in the players. So hopefully a different uh, uh, result tonight than Sunday night against uh, Tacoma. Well, there was a few key components um, in the offseason that really are going to directly affect the roster uh, in this campaign. A lot of high expectations here coming in, of course. The uh, re-signing of Jermaine Jones, former U.S. Uh, national team player, his first full season with the Ontario Fury. And then the king, Frank Tayu, yeah. and his brother Uzi Tayu made their new homes in the Inland Empire. We'll be back shortly after this with kickoff in just a few minutes here, live from Ontario, California. The right gear matters. Introducing the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket, get any truck. Heading out here, get the Ford Ranger, the only adventure gear built for tough. Move towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. Our revived joint replacement program offers board-certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision for improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint. Each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and an individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Back here in Ontario, California, I got three out of the five starters on the pitch so far. The second year defenseman, Debray Holloman. The king, Frank Tayu. It looks like Justin Stinson will get a start along with the newcomer, Nestor Hernandez. And the crafty veteran defenseman, Izzy Cisse. Izzy with his 102nd appearance here in his MASL career. Congratulatory um, handshakes were given uh, pregame. And then, of course, the former two-time MASL goalkeeper of the year and Chris Tote, the veteran, is eager for a win along with his teammates. We were talking, Jose, to some of the players in pregame during warm-ups, and you can feel the hunger for the first win here tonight in Ontario. Yeah, you can feel the hunger and, most importantly, the need for a win. It's very difficult to go ahead and start a season 0-2, but even more so starting at 0-3. Well, they saw this very same Tacoma Stars team just a few days ago. A game that in which you saw Ontario lead uh, for a portion of that game, and then actually be tied as well uh, later in that in the uh, later quarters, I should say, third and fourth quarters, um, and then to relinquish the the amount of goals that they did in that fourth uh, quarter, the blue card, and then yeah. directly leading to a power play goal for the Stars. So much there happened early on in that fourth quarter that really just took the gas out of uh, Ontario. Head coach for your Ontario Fury, head coach Jimmy Nordberg. New assistants this season, LeBaron Holloman, that is uh, Debray Holloman's father, goes by LB, and Troy McCarroll. Equipment manager Kevin Curtin, athletic trainer Jennifer Hawk, and the president and GM head coach, excuse me, I'm so used to saying that after his name, <laughs> uh, Bernie Lillevoix, the president and GM. The, tonight's officials, senior referee Kelly Mock, referee, Lauren Barnett, assistant referee, Andrew Wallace, and the fourth official, Steve Skill. Ontario working from right to left on your broadcast, just underway here from Toyota Arena. That goes up way over, and actually up and over the protective netting. Jose, something you want to see? I know there's a few scratches for the Fury tonight too, but anything in particular you'd like to see from two of the newer guys that are on the roster uh, that came aboard. 
There's a push in the back yeah, there. Yeah, more so, uh, not so specifically for the new guys, but the team in general to get on top early. You know, so the first two games of the season, they've had to kind of react instead of going and jumping on the team earlier in the game. So instead of being a reactionary, you want to go ahead and be the team getting on top of them. But in fact, to tell you, it's only a matter of time for him to just break loose, start scoring goals. The first set piece opportunity for the game is a, a shot that Jermaine Jones would like to take back. Big piece missing of last game too. Jermaine Jones, go ahead and mention that too. And the uh, score lines could be a little deceiving some, sometimes. It was 8-5 at the end of the night, but it was a lot closer game than that. Like you mentioned, the Fury were on top at some portion of that game, 2-1. to one. So should be a, a close game tonight, but I could hopefully see the Fury getting on top. Well, Charlie Gonzalez finds himself on the pitch for the first time tonight. He's tied for uh, the most goals in franchise history at 65, along with Tino Nunez. So Charlie Gonzalez gets a goal tonight. He'll be the franchise leading goal scorer in his fifth season, local product. And then for total points in franchise also, he does have an opportunity to pass Tino Nunez in total points. Nunez sits at 105. Taguinho, former Brazilian star who was here, 118 points. Well done from Chris Toth to read that play off of his back line, Jose. Save of the game so far for Toth, just reading the play out. Yeah, he absolutely read that perfectly and just came out, out of his line just enough to go ahead and close that angle and a great save for uh, Chris Toth to go ahead and get things started. So if he takes over... If he scores a goal, Charlie Gonzalez, he takes over in uh, the league, or excuse me, most goals in franchise history. And then he also has an opportunity to take second in total points in franchise history. So Ontario Fury with their seventh season of existence. Referees discussing something after that ball was whistled dead. MASL primetime is a new home for the best highlights, interviews, and action from the MASL each week, catch the latest episode each Friday as Alex Bachuvensky hosts a 30-minute deep dive into the MASL. Make sure to catch every episode. I got to catch, Jose, a couple episodes of MASL Primetime, the new uh, show. Yes. Saw familiar faces on there. The former, uh, or I should say the reigning MASL MVP Nick Pereira was on there for an episode, and everyone knows who Craig Elston is, the voice of the San Diego Soccer. So he did make an, make an appearance as well. Great program they got there. They got highlights all over the league. If you're a fan that's eager to, to get some of that East Coast, those East Coast highlights, uh, that is the spot to get those. A great place to go ahead and, like you mentioned, get those highlights. A lot of times get focused more so on the western part of the MASL, but a lot of good stuff going on in the East with uh, the Baltimore Blast, obviously uh, the great talent that they have out there, the Florida Tropics out there too. So great uh, way to go ahead and get caught up with the league. And uh, here we see a dead ball for, for Tacoma. Not exactly sure what's taking so long. A lot of talking between the officials trying to get things going straight up, but here we go with the start of play. And Florida went into the Milwaukee home opener and spoiled their banner ah. ceremony and won a 5-4 game against Milwaukee. The restart finally here along the near side boards. Yeah, Florida's starting strong and defeated so far in the season too. Yeah, I would say Florida is the biggest turnaround so far. As we have a break here with Charlie Gonzalez, Jermaine Jones, and Nestor Hernandez along the far side. Jones intended, excuse me, Gonzalez intended for Nestor Hernandez. Nestor Hernandez, a new face here for the Ontario Fury, along with Joseph Kyrell, who made his new home here out in Southern California. Those two crafty veterans on the Ontario Fury side, Nessa Hernandez coming from the Dallas Sidekicks franchise. And yeah. then Kyrell playing his former team again already here in this, is, in this uh, season. Yeah, second game against his former team, Kyrell, but mentioning coming from Dallas Sidekicks, uh, Nestor and, and, and Kyrell from the Tacoma. It's great experience coming from teams like this and helping out the free players who already have great experience as it is, but a little extra experience doesn't help, and it, it does with uh, the caliber players such as Kyrell and um, Nestor. Hernandez plays it back softly to Toth, and one of the rookies here 
getting early action after open tryouts were held out here in Southern California. That is Christian Alvarado. All local products here out of the Inland Empire. Shaken up is one of the Tacoma players along the near side. That's their leading goal scorer in Michael Ramos. Looks like some incidental contact there. Yeah, Michael got a goal against the Fury last game. The captain, number 25, Ramos. Uh, a couple goals in the last couple of uh, seconds of that game extended that lead for them a lot more than it should have been. But the Fury right in the mix of things in that game, only by uh, down one goal with a couple of uh, seconds left in the game. So should be an interesting 10, 56 left here in the first quarter. But the Fury, most of the, for the most part, have control of the situation. It's just a matter of time to get uh, shots on goal. Let's see if Alvarado is a common theme here tonight with Mike Conde Abreu out with a knee injury. Yeah. The youngster Alvarado, the local product out of Anaheim, went to Anaheim High School, two-time All-Orange League selection. As you see here, Tayu trying to play back to his brother. And that goes up and out of bounds. Stinson waiting along that far side board. Stinson, boy, I'll tell you. Stinson has the energy, has the physicality, and has the technique mm -hmm. to be something really special here for the Ontario Fury. Yeah, interesting that you said that in the last game against Tacoma, had two great assists for the Fury in terms of breaking the hips of defenders, leaving them halfway in the half field, but most importantly, being able to have that connection with his teammates earlier on. And hopefully he has that connection with uh, Frank Tayu. Right now we had an opportunity with Tayu to set him up as he made the run. Didn't happen there, but it's only a matter of time, like we mentioned. Just the third game of the season, first game here at home for that connection to go ahead and start getting into rhythm. But Stinson, boy, like I mentioned, like you mentioned too, it's going to be one of the players to go ahead and take a look at. It's one of the standouts, hopefully, for the year. Stinson along that far side generates his own shot off the wall. And it's the first goal in Toyota Arena for the King. Frank Tayu, and it's 1-0 Ontario. All rise, as the King has made his presence here in the newly Toyota Arena. We were just talking about him, Stinson, and we just uh, mentioned them right as it happened. He takes a shot, gets a deflection, and that connection that we wanted to see happens as we're talking. Frank Tayu finds the back of the net. Welcome, the King, here to uh, the Toyota Arena. I mean, you got to believe that's going to open the floodgates here. Yeah. Uh, you see the ball go into the net. It's kind of a, um, a, 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 a mindset thing, right? You're trying to get things going. Here we are with 9.57 remaining in the, in the opening quarter. You look at their first game against San Diego down at uh, Pachanga Arena, and they didn't get a goal until the second half. Yeah, and it was all about reactionary soccer from them, from the Fury. Once to go ahead and get conceded, they react and they start playing a lot better. But like I mentioned in the pregame too, it was for the Fury to get on top of this one early. So in, in order for them not to be in that reactionary mode instead of being on that control neutral zone. Along the far side, another opportunity there for Tacoma. And Jones switch. switches the field. Wanted Charlie Gonzalez in that instance. Didn't get that. And here we are back with Toth. Alvarado back on the pitch again here for the youngster, the rookie. Out of Orange County, does have Kyrell Jones. Stinton to the far side, and the veteran, the captain, Israel Cisse. You know, Mike Conde Abreu, thankfully, Jose, wasn't anything too serious. Did get injured in that last matchup at Showware, Assesso Showware, against these stars. But we were talking to him pregame. He's in pretty good spirits. He thinks he'll, he'll be back here in the next few weeks for Ontario. Yeah, even though we know any injury is not minor, he did mention it's just a meniscus. And like he said, fortunately enough for him, it's just an injury that's going to take him out two weeks. Uh, two games at most, three, but unfortunately not something that's going to be long-term, talking about the whole season, unfortunately, like last year, Marcus Jordan. So hopefully have him back out there. I think he's going to be an essential part of this Fury team moving forward. So it's a key component that's out for the rest of the, these next two games. We'll wait for the replay here as Stinson was tangled up near midfield. As you see right there, little hand to the face, nothing too major, but earned the foul call for the Fury. And the home team up 1-0 here early on in the opening quarter from Toyota Arena. And nothing there other than just extension of the arms, but last game didn't get a blue card until the final portion of the game there. So 
even though these teams do get a lot of phys phys physical uh, at, at points uh, for the most part in the first game and this game so far in the first quarter. Nothing too, uh, too much for the Fury. Holloman looking over his options, decides to switch the field to the near side. Back to the far corner in Frank Tayu. Bouncing ball, Tacoma wins that battle. And Nestor trying to slow things down. Hernandez finds his goalkeeper in Chris Toth. And now Charlie Gonzalez. Remember, he needs one goal. He's already yeah. tied for the franchise leader in goals scored. With Tino Nunez at 65. It's a matter of time for the pride of Lancaster to get one back. It's either, it's either tonight or Sunday. Yeah. I'm calling it already. Pressure here from... Tayu and Hernandez along with Stinson. Boy, you look at the type of skill set that these players have on the pitch right now for Ontario. And I know there's going to be a lot of expectations, but, I mean, you've got a Jermaine Jones out there. You've got a Frank Tayu out there. you got a Stinson out there. Yeah, I want to see a convincing win here tonight. And if you don't get it and you get kind of a, you know, one-goal victory here, or if it's not a victory, um, you know, there's going to be some frustration early on yeah. in the season, but, hey, they started out with multiple wins last year, and then they ended up not making the playoffs. So, yes, these early games are important, but there's still time to kind of tweak whatever it is that you need systematically. Or, you know, head coach Jimmy Nordberg mentioned, you know, it's two games. Yeah. You know, it's two games. But, yeah, expectations are high, and we, we want to fulfill those, not just for us, um, but just, you know, not individually, but for as a team. Mm -hmm. um, and here we are getting the first taste of how they're going to be playing uh, this season. Yeah, for the team, for the community in general. Like you mentioned, every player that we see out there for the Fury, it's great talented players with experience, see what they can bring onto the pitch. I know they're eager and expectations for them is to get into the playoffs and make some noise uh, for them. And it starts off here tonight, like you mentioned, doesn't matter if it's by a lot of goals or not, and I think all the players, including head coach Jimmy Norberg, will take it any way they can with a victory here tonight. So it's a matter of time. These players have to mesh, mesh together. It's a lot of rustiness. Season is very starting for them. It's hard to go when you start a season off uh, with all, uh, the rest of the teams already have three to four games under their belt. So we'll see how the Fury reacts. And fortunately for them so far tonight, it's been in a positive way. Alvarado now along the near side. Going 1v1. Familiar face. And Alex Caceres, who's had a couple stints here with the Ontario Fury, found a new home with Nick Pereira, who's such a versatile um, component to this franchise. Not only a key player, a leader, a coach, as the shot goes wide from Hernandez. Hallman trying to maintain possession for Ontario and does unsuccessfully. But Nick Pereira, you know, class act. Um, I've, I've got to spend... Minimal time with him, but he was here in Ontario for a season, and then you see him doing his thing along with Toth and Tayu on the on the uh, beach soccer national team uh, level as well. And then you see him um, on the pitch before pregames. Obviously, you know the visiting team. You don't want to spend too much time with them because they get their own routines uh, that they got to yeah. fulfill during pregames. As Kyrell with the pressure here, but. Pereira is just a class act, that guy. I saw him on the uh, MASL primetime as well doing an interview. And, uh, you know, he does so much for the Stars franchise. Uh, it, it's, it's nice to see those type of people getting rewarded as Kyrell with a back hill after Jones laid it off for him, maintaining possession here in their attacking half. Cissé will wait for Tayu to hop back on. He'll take it himself. Why Wallman not? with the fingertip save there. And this is what you want to see. You want to see pressure. You want to see shots being taken. And we've seen it so far early on in the first quarter. Yeah, more of that from the number 15, the King Tayu. As well. We haven't seen some of that in the first couple of games that the Fury played uh, or last week, I should say. When he attacks, hits the ball, and he keeps running and attacking, that's when we see the best out of I'll tell you, as we see the back heel here of my career, unfortunate for them there. A little stronger might have been a different here, but still one nothing Fury. As Waltman now controlling 
for Tacoma. Sends it deep into the corner for Pereira. Controls and guarded by Uzi Tayu. Wins that battle. Miscommunication there between Frank and Uzi. Now Peterson with the ball for Tacoma. Frank really getting stuck in, they call it, right, Jose? Yeah. Timeout on well, field, but getting stuck in. These players are, are feeling it as well. But timeout on the field here from Toyota Arena, a one nothing game, a goal from Frank Tayu. Tayu on the board after Stinson laid it off to him off the boards, and Tayu does what he does best, reads it off of the boards and gets his third goal of the season. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods, and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Corps is transforming lives in communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcorps.org. Back here from Ontario, California. Kick this, outside, your, outside of being on the team, the best way to know what's happening in the MASL is to tune in to Kick This. Every weekend, Soccer Sam discusses the ins and outs of all the MASL action. Find Kick This every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern on iHeartRadio. Miter, the Ontario Fury would like to thank you, thank Miter USA for providing today's match balls. Miter, founded in Huddersfield, England, is among the world's Oldest sporting goods brands starting production in 1817. Miter is a proud partner of Major Arena Soccer League, providing arena specific match balls to both the MASL and MASL2. The MASL and Miter share a long term vision to see arena soccer grow in North America. Miter's Astro Division Ball is the official game ball for the MASL League play. Miter's Astro Division is designed specifically for play on artificial surfaces. It features a more accurate flight than the average ball, and has a 30% reduced bounce to make it play more efficiently in arena soccer. You're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL TV. You can catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. And of course, Jose, I don't know if you heard of this thing called social media, but social media, get the latest news on the MASL and your favorite teams like the Ontario Fury. Make sure you are following MASL Soccer on Facebook and Instagram and MASL Arena on Twitter. Same for the Ontario Fury. Just add Ontario Fury when you're on those social media outlets. 3-10 remaining here in the first quarter of play from Toyota Arena. As your goal scorer is Frank Tayu still on the pitch for Ontario along with Cissé Stinson, Kyrell, and the newcomer Alvarado. Tayu now deep in the corner, defended there. Shields off one defender, wants that ball back. No call there, but Cissé with possession now. He's going to go 1v1 now, double teamed. Tayu not happy with the way that he was getting defended there, but I didn't see anything. Out there. Yeah, I didn't see anything yet, Jose. Stinson now for Ontario. Deep ball sent in, intended for Tayu. Bouncing ball, and Tacoma will settle in their defensive third. Push in the back there, easy call in the end. And it's a Stars restart. That was Vince McCluskey. Yeah, McCluskey goes down, but it's a physical play between Adam West, the defender, and Frank Tayu that we should go ahead and take a look at that. It's good thing by West, he's not letting down. You know, Frank Tayu is 6 1. Won't go ahead and be an easy matchup for any defender in the league. So it's good to go ahead and see any physical play that goes at him because uh, any way to go ahead and slow the king down will be beneficial for your team. Stinson with the pressure here. Along with Alvarado and Tayu to the far side. Heavy pressure there on Waltman. Tacoma getting out of their defensive half. Uzi Tayu earning the ball back for Ontario. Oof. Around one defender, no whistle there. Cox now for Tacoma. 
And I'll go 1v1 against Stinson. Toth sees that all the way. Easy save in the end. And into the hands for Chris Toth. Good reaction to get that bounce back too. Dangerous bounce that Crystal lets that bounce bounce in the area, but able to go ahead and control that. Charlie Gonzalez. He didn't realize he was uh, tied for the the lead in franchise history for goals. Excited mm. and obviously maybe he'll try and get it. Tonight, Gonzalez now along the near side. One other game going on in the MASL tonight. The newly revamped Cal Turlock Express. And San Diego up at Turlock Indoor. And it's a one nothing lead for the home team. Yeah, the Turlock Express making some noise here earlier in the season in terms of also being, along with the Florida Tropics, that great turnaround team of the year that we could go ahead and start talking about. They're 3-1 and one in the year so far. Uh, San Diego's only loss in the season has come for the Turlock, so really defined, new look for the Turlock Express. Uh, it's good for them so far uh, this young season in the MASL. Pereira defended by Holloman, and Pereira does so well to shield off any defender, really. Holloman there with the height. As you catch the replay here, bad time to give up a goal with 20.8 remaining. And it's just a simple turn and fire into that bottom corner for Pereira. And it's 1-1 here from Ontario. Yeah, it's a great setup by Adam West there. He just goes ahead and puts that ball where he knows Nick Pereira has the talent to go ahead and shield the ball, turn, create his own space. And all Nick has to do with there is just swing at the ball and get some contact on goal. Nothing Chris Toth could do there. It's 1-1 with 3.8 seconds here in the first quarter. Pereira gets his third goal of the season. Seventh point. As Johnny Topete onto the pitch and Topete a familiar face as well for this Inland Empire fan base. Makes his second stint here with Ontario. And he's been great so far for the Fury in terms of getting his uh, homework done in the defensive side. Another a player that's been doing great so far is Evan McNeely. We haven't seen in this game at all, but he's been coming sort of a set-piece king with two goals in the season with a set-piece. So hopefully we see him earlier on uh, for the Fury. Well, McNeely, as that hits the scoreboard off of Toth, McNeely unfortunately getting a one-game suspension for an altercation down in San Diego. But he's eager to come back as well. Obviously, a big one to miss here for facing his former team. But that scoreboard contact ends in a defensive clearance reset. And a shot in the end goes just wide. So after one quarter of play, it's a 1-1 game here from Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. As the second quarter, we'll be back here in just a moment. Gear matters. Introducing the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. Move towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. Our revived joint replacement program offers board-certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision. For improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint, each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and an individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. 
At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods, and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Corps is transforming lives and communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcorps.org. Inside Toyota Arena here in Ontario, California. So glad you can join us right here on MASL TV. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside Jose Duran, a 1-1 game. So far, Jose, Frank T, you get it on the board. Very important there for you Ontario Fury fans. What else did you see in that opening quarter? Yeah, we got on board, did the Fury with the Tyreek goal. Great play by Stinson. But after that, they didn't see much from the Fury. You thought that after the goal, they were going to see more of the Fury on top, more of a pressure. But it seems that they kind of just settled back and got comfortable with the 1-0 lead. And you know what happens, Ryan, when you get comfortable with any type of lead, it goes right back at you and there's tied 1-1. So hopefully see more of Fury, more shots, more uh, work has to be done for Danny Wallman's side. He can't just be a spectator as well. So hopefully we see that here in the second half and get a couple more goals on the side for Ontario. As we're just underway here to get the second quarter of play, it'll be Jose Duran on the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, hopefully now with the, with the talk they have for Jimmy Ho head coach Jimmy Norberg, see some types of changes, but uh, for the Fury, you see... Jermaine Jones coming back into play. Not so much uh, from Jermaine in the first half. Not, the, not that much involvement, I should say. But hopefully in the second half, uh, second quarter rather, it'll be something different. But for the Fury, just keep at it. Keep going at the, the Tacoma Stars. Since the Tacoma Stars have only had that one shot by Nick Pereira, we haven't seen much uh, of a dent. But we see right away a tire. You're trying to find for Jermaine Jones. And it's cut away from the Tacoma Stars. Here comes a counterattack from the right-hand side. Going to go back all the way to goalkeeper Danny Wallman, who I should say, too, is one of the better goalkeepers in the league with the ball on his feet, not as well, not as much with his hands as we see um, him playing with his feet and a couple of his players. Goes back to the Danny Wallman. Move. Coma. Great defending by Uzi. Right turn around, can't do so. It goes all the way to the back by McCluskey. Here's the Coma with Hansen. He also got a, the first goal of last game against uh, Ontario up in the Pacific Northwest in Tacoma. Great one-two touch. It could be a shot for the Stars. And a great defensive play by Charlie Gonzalez. We're talking about Charlie being the player uh, with the most goals for the Fury. And he, we don't talk enough about what he does defensively as well for Ontario. Here's Uzi. Trying to, trying to, create, try to create something from the defensive side to offensive. And... The Fury so far in the end of the first quarter haven't seen much of it. Here's Carrillo. Ball picked back to Stinson. Go back all the way to Chris Toth. Trying to go ahead and straight something up by Captain Israel Cisse, who also got on the board last game against Tacoma to start the MASL season. One great two touch here by Stinson. Try to keep going. Try to get away. Doesn't do it. And is really well caught off by the Tacoma Stars who gives it away here. Israel Cesar is going to line away. Cuts inside, keeps it going. Cuts and puts it. Who? Stinson. Cuts inside again. The number 10 with the left. Ooh, and a very well by McCluskey. Here come again the Tacoma Stars. Very well defended by the Israel Cesar. He's going to go ahead and just take that away and say, Gives that, give that right back to me. That's, that's one player in Stinson. I want to see him let loose with some power. Yeah. I know we touched on it in the first quarter, but that's one player you want to see Generate some power and get a quality opportunity. Unlucky with the left foot just a minute ago. Yeah, in the last two games, he has, the last game actually, he has two assists. So we know what he could do technically classy with his foot. So we try to see if he could do it more so with a powerful shot. We need more shots on Tiger do the Fury this game. Here's Jermaine Jones, has a look at the goal. Smart enough, goes back to Stinson. The Fury have control so far here in the first couple of minutes in the th second quarter with 12 27 left. To go here in the second quarter is 1-1 Tacoma and Ontario. But so far in the second quarter, it's been all Ontario on top. Here's Jermaine. Trying to get past Adam West. He finds Alvarado. Back to Tayu. Trying to find any way to break that great defensive structure of the Tacoma Stars. Well, they're playing man for man. They're just tracking Willie really well right now. Maybe here this Jones time for Jermaine Jones. Generates room. Yeah. Alvarado on the follow-up there. Well done from Alvarado. Continued pressure in their attacking third after a rebound opportunity. Yeah, great turn by Jermaine, too. That's more of what we were trying to see. 
And as Jermaine here as a forward, that's more that we're we trying to see forward. We saw a lot of Tino Nunez do that throughout the years where he uses that body to just go ahead and shield and create that space. Hopefully now with Tayu in the game too, we see a little bit of more of that too as we hear the Tacoma Stars now on the breakaway. Here's Adam West trying to create something with his left and a great defensive turnaround here by Cardona. Keeps going. Here come the Tacoma Stars. The one, two, gonna go ahead and try to pay to prefer foot to the right. Strikes it. The uh, Holloman gets it clear defensively. Here comes the Tacoma, uh, the Ontario Fury. Tie you one on one. It could be for the Fury. Go to this left. And a great save by Donnie Waltman. Amazing save, I should say. He comes and he goes, gets in front of Tyu, makes his body big, and stood the, uh, the Ontario Fury. Back to Cardona. Tyu tries to go ahead and get another space going with the left. And great defensive block. And Donnie Wallman with this. Another save here for Tacoma. He has 2,500 career saves in the MASL earlier in the season. Great save. Here's easy to see say. West in front of him. Tries to fight for a, a tie. He tries to turn around. Doesn't get it. Gets some space. Finally, still loose in the box. And cleared away by the Tacoma Stars defense. Here's Topete. Glad to be back. And he's had a great stint in the first couple of games for the Fury in the defensive side. He gets a space. Passes the equator to the field. Israel CC on the other side. He picks his hands up. He gets it right back to Topete. Has a defender on him. And... Here comes Uzi. Tries to go ahead and get a pass and is deflected off uh, the captain of the Tacoma Stars, Michael Ramos, who also got a goal in the last game. So a couple of, of goals from the different players in Tacoma or the difference makers up in the Pacific Northwest. Here's Jermaine Jones trying to go ahead and get in front of the ball and can't do so. A little He's, frustration yeah. there from Jermaine, but you said earlier, you touched on it earlier, West is the defender that's going to be guarding him at least majority of the time as he just hops off of the pitch. But once Jones is on there, West is covering Jermaine Jones pretty tightly. Yeah, West is just those defenders that annoy you as a forward. They're always on top of you. You always know that they're uh, somewhere, some way, somehow lingering on your backside. But if you're uh, Adam West, that's your job. That's what you have to do. As we see Uli Tyler doing exactly that to Nick Pereira. Here's the captain, the great one, number 10. Mr. Tacoma Stars for, the now, for, for now, Nick Pereira. Tacoma now trying to go ahead and try to get a uh, rhythm and something going on their side. It's been all Ontario for the first five minutes here in the second quarter. This, this is kind of an, uh, a tribute to both teams defensively so far, Jose. A lot of yeah. possession, but nothing really generated. It's, uh, aside from that, that breakout, that, uh, or that breakaway that Taiyu did have, just a couple minutes to go on Waltman. But other than that, it's been tight, tight marking all throughout. Yeah, and the forwards are trying to find any type of space to get a shot at. And like we mentioned, the spaces have been closed, and the only shots that a toast has been saved, and even Waltman before that one that we saw earlier, has been very just in tight corners. Here comes the Stars trying to go ahead and get something going forward for Tacoma. Here's Casares, the pride of Colombia. Number 87, goes slightly further back. Kyrell going ahead and provide green pressure, and here comes Danny Wallman. Like we mentioned earlier, exceptional with the feet as well. Long ball here looking for Nick Pereira. That connection between those two is crucial. What a great fake by turn by Jermaine Jones. Trying to go ahead and get a counterattack going. Great ball, and Charlie Gonzalez never sees him, and however, it's going to be left off here for Stinson. Cuts. Keeps going. Turns. What a turn. Keeps going with his laugh. What a, what a, what a cut. He went up. Goal! Goal! Lasso! Goal! By number 10, Justin Stinson and Brian. That was in the goal. That was a golasso, my you, friend. Wow. You are going to see that on MASL primetime. Ooh. No doubt about that. Gets around multiple defenders. Has the ability and the power to finish as Wallman, in the end, couldn't stop that from hitting the back of the net. A highlight real goal here from Justin Stinson. Wow, Jamal Cox just got posterized there with the total through his legs. 
but over everything, Justin Stinson. I feel like everything we've been talking is usually the broadcaster's curse, Brian, but tonight it's different than what we've seen so far throughout the years. Every time we talked about a player, they've come up big, and we've seen it Justin Stinson earlier, and what a play by individual play by the number 10, and that's exactly the reason why he has that number in his back. Wow. Well, let's talk about Jermaine Jones then, and let's see if he gets a, <laughs> a goal himself. Assist. He made the right assist. There yeah. For Jones. It's Tayu. What a shot. More of that from Tayu, too. That's going to be the difference maker from the Fury. In the second quarter, we're seeing a lot more shots from the Fury, and it's now having them up 2 1. Oh, what a great, not so challenge, but Adam West physically with Juan Gonzalez. He knows that, and he shoves Adam West, and he's telling the ref, hey, <laughs> there was an elbow there, sir. Kites and West. Yeah, look at that. And now Kites getting into it with Charlie. Because it's been that it's been that way the whole game now, I feel like. We mentioned in the first game that I played this season, there wasn't that much physical play, no yellow blue cards, I should say, until the last period of game. But tonight, not so much. Been very physical, no cards so far. But if you're Ontario, you're getting frustrated with the way uh, Adam West has been defending. Referee's just trying to go ahead and get anything uh, his way in terms of calling peace between these two teams. So far, 2-1, to 7.34 left here in the second quarter. It could be a breakaway in Topete with a slide. Oh, not so happy with the little nudge left there by number 27, Lamar Neagle of the Tacoma Stars as we see a break here coming up. Well, that was the, that that action. Was, that was the rookie, uh, Christian Alvarado, just trying to get his feet wet. Um, yeah. I didn't see anything... That, that initiated a, a blue card or warranted a blue card. Just getting stuck in. I didn't see a two-footed slide. Of course, that would draw an automatic disciplinary action there. But Yeah, it's just physical between both these teams. Well, Jose on MASL primetime. MASL Primetime is the new home for the best highlights, as you see some highlights right here. Stinson dancing around multiple defenders and getting his goal. But best highlights, interviews, and action from the MASL each week. Catch the latest episode on Fridays as Alex Bachevensky hosts a 30-minute deep dive into the MASL. Make sure to catch every episode. So two-to-one game so far, Jose. We've seen... The goal scores that you, you would have liked to see on the Ontario Fury side with Frank Tayu and Justin mm -hmm. Stinson. Uh, we touched on Stinson having uh, some ability here, some capability. He gets his first goal of the season. Uh, coming from the St. Louis ambush where he did pretty well for them last year as well. And uh, here he is out in Southern California. And then, of course, Frank Tayu getting his third goal on the year. Who else would you like to see on that stat line for Ontario. Well, I mean, the obvious candidate, Charlie Gonzalez, just go ahead and get that record and chip off his, his shoulder. But overall, just I mean, the team play is, is where I want to see improve. I think uh, once the team goes, starts getting that connection, that one, two, and getting comfortable and familiarity with themselves, we'll see exactly what this Ontario Fury team can be about. So if we see uh, uh, the, the team play, we see it get better. But if I, if I have to say an individual player, and once he does good, the Fury does good, it's Israel Cize. If he does great defensively and he can port somewhere in the offense, the Fury are good as he she has shot the goal! Goal! Michael Ramos, El Capi, the captain from the Tacoma Stars, getting in the score sheet just right away as soon as the ball gets played here in the second quarter from the break, and it's 2-2, two to two, uh, Tacoma. I think Chris Toth wants that one back. Jeez. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary for that shot. The angle maybe caught Toth a little bit off guard just because there was a little bit more room to carry that ball, and Toth communicating at the end of that play with Nestor Hernandez, but some, some minor adjustments in their defensive third. Yes. That'll go a long way as Ramos uh, gets his sixth goal of the season. That's been the storyline for the Fury all season, this early season, but young season, I should say. But it's been the storyline all season long for the Fury. Minor mistakes in the back, individual mistakes causing this team. And as we see here, it's 2-2. Two, two. 
Jones uh, probably could have done better defending there uh, in terms of getting in front of um, Ramos, but nothing Toth could do there. It's an outside game. As Jones tries to turn around, they call a foul against Jermaine. Hmm. You'll see it right there, huh? here. I don't believe there is much contact there. Maybe if it was above the shoulders, that's a dangerous play there. But Here comes Jermaine Jones. He has the court in front of him. Goes for Carrell. Shot goes wide. The Panther tries to get back there. The ball's going to be left Oof. back to Stinson. He fires and strikes it there and goes just over the bar of Dan Waltman. But Stinson getting comfortable out there. You mentioned it too that we want to see more of that from him getting those kind of shots and seeing what kind of power he has in his leg. And so far from there, we've seen some, some, some type of power. Always rising off of the laces of Stinson, but right idea there for Justin Stinson, unfortunately, could not capitalize. Here's Dan, back to Waltman, trying to come ahead and touch with the feet, and here could be a counterattack for Tacoma. The ball's being left and controlled very well by Uzi. Tries to go back, sees he has a defender. Here's Charlie Gonzalez. Could be a counter for the Ontario Fury. A long ball here for, looking for uh, Tayu. Here's the king, Frank, trying to cut inside, get through two defenders, can't do so, and he goes all the way to the opposite side. Here's Alvarado. Going to go back to Charlie Gonzalez. He's going to strike it from there. No, this is a great ball for Tayu. One, two with easy. And exactly what we want to see more of in Israel Cisse getting in that attacking mentality too. Yeah, they simply just drew in the defenders there with Tayu to the far side corner. And Izzy with a gimme there on a layoff attempt. Didn't have the right power behind it. Might have, might have just caught it off stride there for Israel Cisse. Hopefully he gets another opportunity like that. And he'll be sure to be in the back of the net. There's Nick Pereira going all the way back to his goalkeeper, Dan Waltman. Back to Casades. Seems the players tangled down involving Alvarado, but nothing much to it as they're back up and playing. I think Tacoma is getting the full effect of this youngster, this rookie, Alvarado, trying to make a name for himself yeah. here. On the team in a mismatch defensively. Ooh, what a great defensive slide there by Israel Cisse. If he doesn't do that slide, Ryan, we're talking 3-2 Tacoma. Yeah, there was a miscommunication before Ramos got to that ball Ooh. on the far side. Not tracking his man defensively was Alvarado. As Caceres nearly got it in still. And if you're getting on their heels here, and here comes a great, a great ball here put by uh, Charlie to Cardona. Cuts inside, one, two, Tayu, the shot, goal! 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 Once again by the king, uh, Tayu, number 15, getting it in the back of the net. Frank Tayu with his second goal of the night. Assist to Etienne Cardona, the rookie, getting his first assist of the year. What a goal for the Fury and a great counterattack by Ontario. First, is, first assist in his career. Nice. And it goes to the king, Frank Tayu. You can't leave Tayu with that type mm -hmm. of setup and that type of space on that part of the field because he'll bury it 10 out of 10 times. And that's exactly what he did here. A 3-2 lead for the Ontario Fury. And Danny just stood there like a statue, picking his hands up, and that's all he could have done there because that shot by Frank is just complete power. And, Brian, we've been missing that from Ontario Fury these past years. Someone on top of the, of, of the box that could go ahead and get those opportunities for the Fury. And just like that, two goals in his home debut for Ontario. You need some convincing plays, some convincing goals, convincing yeah. opportunities. And what I mean by that is, Look, they were shut out in the first half out in San Diego, 4-0. They went up to Tacoma, had the game tied in the fourth quarter, and just let it all unravel for themselves. There needs to be a statement game as the referee's a little bit in the way there uh, along the near side. <clears throat> uh, but you need some yeah. convincing goals and opportunities and wins, and I feel like they're getting so far some some key contributions for from the right players, but this... This momentum here, this three-goal momentum needs to c continue and carry on and, more importantly, end with a win here at Toyota Arena. What a great turn by Jermaine. <laughs> They're calling him a foul once again. 
But Justin Stinson, boy, look at that replay. Look at that control, that touch. That ball sticks to his feet like it's a magnetic field. And that Ooh, uh, final push by Jermaine does get his arms a little extended in a foul. So the good thing is Stinson runs off on his own power, but it's one of those plays where your knees are straight and someone's running into you. Your knees kind of lock backwards. Uh, so a little bit of a scary moment. Then you have a Tacoma player right now having some trouble getting off the pitch. That's Dan Antonuk, the Ford for Tacoma, holding his back. So maybe right. in that tangle up as well with Stinson. I have a feeling we're going to be staying Stinson's name a lot oh, this year. yeah. I mean, you're talking about a 20-goal scorer from St. Louis, 31 points last year. And the kid just got quick feet. Yeah. I mean, quick feet. It reminds me of Charlie Gonzalez, mm -hmm. actually. Everything that he does on the open field, too, he just go ahead and eats up that open field. And what he could do with his feet, cut, turn, loose, pass, shoot, all-around complete offensive player. But so far has the Fury. And uh, on top here, three goals to two uh, does uh, Justin Stinson and his teammates. But here come the Tacoma Stars trying to go ahead and get something doing, going forward by McCluskey. Great defense is stopped by Israel Cisse. Going to go ahead and was hold back. The referee says no, no, no foul. And it's going to be a restart by Tacoma. Here it comes again. The stop by McCluskey. It could be the shot. It's saved by Chris Toth. McCluskey getting on top of there, but Toth coming on top first. And I see a foul called against Hansen here. He's not very happy about that, but Ontario getting the call. Well, I mean, it's contact without the ball. As you see the replay here, Toth doing his best job off of his back line, but you see Gonzalez about to get the ball right there. And it's just contact to the feet. It's an easy foul to call. I mean, Hanson just needs to get back defensively. Oh, tough call against Frank Tayu here. And Adam West is doing way well defensively. The Fury are up three goals to two, but the work that he does on top, poking the balls away from defenders. My God. And then he goes on top too. Foul called for the Fury, against the Fury, I should say. McCluskey gets it started really quickly with Hansen. Uh, trying to go ahead and look up top, see if anything's going. He goes harder, further back with Dan Waltman. Here comes Tacoma, trying to go ahead and get something going through Cox. What a great turn. He gets through uh, Charlie Gonzalez. Here's Cox to the left. He's going to go ahead and strike it from there. And Chris Toll's just putting his arms up there, sitting at to the corner. But what a great turn here by Cox. As we see here, he goes over to from his right to his left. Breaks the hit with Charlie Gonzalez, and lucky for the Fury, that shot goes for a corner. Going to get a restart here by Nick Pereira. The referee is going to go ahead and claim the distance on the defenders as we see Charlie Gonzalez and Frank Tayu on the wall. Trying to go ahead and close up any space that uh, Nick Pereira could have to get a strike on goal here. Well, it's going to be a layoff to West or, mm -hmm. I was just going to say, or Cox. Cox, yeah. There's Casares. Being left off again. The shot goes just off the wall. And luckily for the Fury, it goes out of bounds. It's going to be a restart for Ont uh, Ontario. 3-2, to two, the Ontario Fury on top of the Tacoma Stars here with a minute 38 left in the second quarter. Strong start to the quarter from the Fury. Has them on top here. A little bit of a missed concentration in the back. Had Tacoma tie the game up earlier. But it's been all Ontario here in the second quarter. Here's Uzi. Back with uh, Chris Toth. Back to Tayu. Trying to go ahead and turn around, create some space with the body. Doesn't get it. And he's going to be turned around, taken down. As is as we're going to see the first blue card here given to Tayu. It's a smart foul. Deservingly so. That's a smart foul. You want to know why? Because giving it up in your defensive third, right near the yellow line right there, committing the foul, taking Caceres out of the play. What happened in San Diego, Jose? They gave up two, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah. two out of those four goals that were just gimmies on the defensive end. They did not want that to happen here again. As you see, two Tacoma Stars lined up after Caceres retained that ball. Uzi Tayu, although yeah. he may not agree with me, that was the right foul to, to commit in that instance. Yeah, absolutely. As we saw Cox creeping up down the middle, all I had to do was touch it to him there in case he got the breakaway. But nothing for there. It's hopefully the Fury able to go ahead and take this power play away from uh, the Tacoma Stars. Here's Casares. Back to uh, the West. 
He finds Nick Pereira. The ball goes all the way further back. As we know, it's four players on the field for the Fury, including the goalkeeper. Back to Pereira, trying to create any type of space. Adam West going to strike it with his left and is very well defended by Israel Cisse, and it's deflected for a corner kick. A minute and two left here in the second quarter for the Fury to go into the break on top. Nick Pereira against back to West. Here's Casares with his left hand, left foot. In front of him is Hallman. Back to Pereira. Here's Cox. Straight, it's taken away by Charlie Gonzalez. He says, you don't want it, I'll take it. But the ball takes an ugly and unfortunate bounce against the Fury, and it's going to be a restart here for Tacoma. Nick Pereira is going to go ahead and size him up. Finds Casares to the uh, West. Pereira just giving touch back and forth, trying to find any type of space. West tries to take a shot, and it's very well defended by Izzy Cisse. Back to Ramos. Cox shot and controlled very calmly by Chris Toast. So far, the Fury doing good in the power play, Brian. Yeah, it's going to carry over, unfortunately, to the second half, but just seconds in difference here with a game clock. Here's Nick Pereira. 14 seconds left in the clock. Coach Flitz prefer right. Cuts with his left. Leave it to Casares. It's a shot. Ooh, it goes just wide. Unfortunate for the Colombian International. Here comes Ramos. Try to take a shot. Three seconds, two seconds, one. And the Ontario Fury are going to head into the half. Leading this one three, game, three goals to two. Great first half so far, Brian, for the Fury. Has them on top. Three goals to two. Ontario, two goals from Frank Tauyu, another goal from Stinson, but they've looked like the better team even though they're only up by one goal. It looks like the uh, Fury should be in the driver's seat. Yeah, I'm, I mean, Cissé kind of talked about it uh, in pregame. Uh, they're, they're trying to set themselves up with the right opportunity to, to finish uh, some quality opportunities. At times, maybe they're trying a little too much. Maybe just a simple one-two around uh, one of the defenders might generate some more quality opportunities, but you know, second half, we'll see what they can bring. Obviously, Stinson with a highlight real goal, really dancing around two players and then finishing against Waltman, as you see on that replay, but a few things defensively tracking your, your players as well defensively. I know Alvarado got kind of tied up with a miscommunication that fortunately did not lead uh, uh, to a, a goal from Tacoma. But overall, I mean, that first half, a 3-2 lead so far. I think, uh, you know, Ontario has a lot to build off of. Hopefully Jermaine Jones pops out of his shell and gets some quality opportunities and finishes himself. Yeah, and it's important that Jermaine Jones is, like you mentioned, not being effective tonight, but the Fury still being on top three goals to two is something that we should definitely keep an eye out. And hopefully with the Fury, Jermaine Jones could come ahead and gun on top and get... Uh, the Fury back and more. But that's it here for halftime. Tacoma down three goals to two against Ontario. We'll be back with all the actions for the second half. The right gear matters. Introducing the all new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this. A bash plate for that. An electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here, get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. Move towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. Our revived joint replacement program offers board certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision for improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint. Each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods, and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Corps is transforming lives and communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcorps.org.
the right gear matters. Introducing the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger, the only adventure gear built for tough. Move towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. Our revived joint replacement program offers board certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision. For improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint, each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and an individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods, and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Corps is transforming lives and communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcorps.org. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Corps is transforming lives and communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcorps.org. Halftime here in Southern California, live from a Toyota Arena. The Ontario Fury lead the Tacoma Stars, visiting for the first time this season. A 3-2 halftime lead. Your goal scorers for the Ontario Fury. Frank Taiyu tallied a pair of goals. Justin Stinson found himself on both lines of the stat sheet with an assist to Taiyu and a goal for himself. And then Cardona getting an assist as well. The rookie gets his first point here in his rookie debut, home debut. As Cardona, one of the rookies making their appearances so far. We've, we've seen plenty of playing time from Christian Alvarado as well, the local Anaheim product. And to talk more, a little bit about more on the rookies here, that's in Cardona. He's from San Jose, California. Mm -hmm. He is the second player added to the Fury roster just a few weeks ago. But Cardona does have... Overseas uh, experience playing for SV Rottenham in Austria. And then also Zetun Corinthians FC in the first division. He attended Santa Clara University. And then he was named the 2013 UCC All-Freshman team in 2013. But Jose, a few things for the Ontario Fury. One, they do have that one goal lead at 3-2. to two. 
but they did give up a penalty, which Uzi Tayu is going to have to serve the remaining of that penalty as it was a tripping penalty late in that uh, first half. And then total shots, 13 to 11, favoring the Tacoma Stars. Defensively, they've done well. They've been tracking their players. I think there's been a, a couple miscues, at least from my vantage point. Obviously, head coach Jimmy Nordberg and his coaching staff will let them know what other miscues they've had in that first half. But anything in particular that needs to get fine-tuned here for Ontario coming out of the halftime break? No, I think you mentioned it. It's just those tiny miscues. I mean, the goals that the Tacoma Stars have got, like we've seen right now the, for Nick Pereira, just tight spaces that they managed to get the ball through. So two of the three goals have come that way. So the Fury are doing a great job defensively. But most importantly, for the upcoming start of the second half, they want to go ahead and get on top of the Tacoma Stars early, make their presence felt. And I'm on board with you, Brian. Let this be a statement game when you come out and just go ahead and just get on them with as many goals as possible. So, so far, the Fury have three in the first in the first half. Maybe could add a little bit more onto that, and they'll be in the driver's seat to go ahead and get out of here with their first win of the season. Yeah, some definite positives uh, from that first half. Obviously, Tayu get a pair of goals. But just standing pad defensively. I know there were a couple miscues that head coach Jimmy Nordberg and Izzy Cisse touched on in pregame that they wanted to pretty much forget about in the in the first two games in San Diego and Tacoma. Obviously, those games resulting in the loss column, but, you know, always room for improvement no matter if you're in a hole at 0-2 or up 2-0. You're always going to find some criticism, especially if you're around the team uh, each and every day. Yeah, and you learn from your mistakes. That's what head coach Jimmy Norbrick said when we spoke to him in media day is how can you learn and improve from the years before, and he said, we learn from our mistakes. We're learning from what we did last year to get it improved into this year as we see the start of the second half take off here with Nick Pereira taking a shot, turning around, and it goes just over the crossbar. But head coach Jimmy Norberg knows it's a new season. Young season, but it's a new season to go ahead and get things started. You're down 0-2 to start the year, but doesn't mean to go ahead and get things back into gear with the win tonight. Here's Chris Toth. Going to go ahead and go long, trying to find... Cairo, and it's going to be controlled by Danny Waltman. It's very close to a handball there. Oh, yeah, it took a Pereira. weird bounce. Here's Tacoma trying to go ahead and get one back and tie this game up. Back here to Cox. Left it off here by Nick Pereira. Here's the player coach. Back to Danny West. Back to Nick Pereira. Ty, you're going to go ahead and get, create some pressure, and it goes back to defender very well defended by Waltman. Gets a ball touch in the clear, and it goes further back to Danny Waltman. So well done from Ontario, killing off the uh, first and only power play so far in tonight's contest. But a confidence builder defensively for Ontario. Let's see if they can stand pat. What a great turn and shot. Goes just wide and be recovered here by the Ontario Fury. Here's Waltman trying to get through and recovered by Tacoma. Here's Casares, trying to go ahead and find something going for the Stars and a very well defended by the Fury. Back on the fourth and the start of the second half, it's been nothing but Tacoma Stars. He's going to go to his preferred foot, trying to find somebody, and it goes all the way back to defender Casares, who goes even further back with Danny Waltman. Again, 3-2 to two here, the scoreline from beautiful Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. Season home opener for the Ontario Fury here in the Inland Empire has the Ontario Fury up three goals to two. Thank you for tuning in, folks, in this MASL.TV broadcast. Ontario, so far in the game in control, but it's been all Tacoma Stars to start the, the second half, Brian. Yeah, obviously, you know, a power play starting in that second half with Tacoma. Ontario doing well there. Let's see, like I said, if they can stand pat and do some things better defensively. As you see a tie up there along the near side, but five men behind the ball. Always five men defending. Uh, then you have an opportunity to really create some stubborn chances for your opposing team. Here's Daniel West with a shot. It goes straight to goalkeeper Chris Toth's hands as Adam West been very, very much 
in the mix of things here as Stinson trying to go ahead and get a shot over the, floor, the head of Adam West. The clear defense and he tied it with the rebound and it goes just wide. I think he was so surprised with the fact that the ball came right to his feet and it's Stinson battling. Here comes the counterattack. Here comes Cox. The Coma Stars trying to go get something. is 3v3 if they wanted to. Here's West. What a great ball here. Trip for uh, Anik Pereira, but it's going to go a little bit too far. Recovered by Israel Cisse. Error to the back and it gets a shot by Cox. Not a great pass by Israel Cisse. And luckily for the Fury, they get away, away with it. Well, he was backtracking there. Didn't have a window. Had a small opportunity to get rid of it successfully. And unfortunately for the Ontario Fury, that landed just out of reach for Tacoma. Yeah, it was just not a touch that we're familiar to seeing from Israel Cisse. He pretty much, for the most part, all the time does the correct thing in terms of touches and not so a great great touch here oh that was a counter attack stop by the referee ladies and gentlemen not so sure about the foul here no that was a foul that was a uh, that was a foul um it was something that obviously would have benefited frank Taiyu and the fury there but that was just he didn't play the ball at all here's cox great one two touch run away and that gets called a foul for Topete. he's going to get the card here and rightfully so, as he's going to go ahead and get the blue card as Cox was going to go on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity against Chris Holt as we see the replay here. One-two touch gets by him and gets clipped and taken down. So a tripping penalty for the veteran Johnny Topete. Let's see if they can kill back-to-back -back power plays here. Unfortunate for Ontario. Just underway here in this third quarter of play, but... You know, something, uh, is it a smart foul in that particular spot? I think that's a little bit different from what uh, Uzi Tayu yeah. committed in the end of the first half. Definitely want to challenge that ball, but that was a little uh, too obvious for the referees there. Blue card, yes, right away. Yeah, well-deserving as we see. Tacoma Stars trying to go ahead and get the tie goal here as Alex Casar is in front of the ball here. Might go with his left. This is Nomi Nick Pereira. Further even back. And now they're calling no man's land. Cox, a shot goes way over the crossbar. And it's going to be further back with Nick Pereira. Here's Nick. Player captain. Adam West strikes it. And in front of there is Chris Toth and falls to Charlie Gonzalez. who clears it all the way back to Casares. Power play here for Tacoma. A couple of minutes here. Gone by in the second half, still 3-2 Ontario. Here's uh, Casares. Been seeing a lot more minutes here this season does the Colombian International, Nick Pereira. Here's Ramos, back to Cox, back to Ramos. This is the star squad for the Tacoma Stars here. Nick Pereira, Adam West, the shot goes over the crossbar here. But if we see something that we were talking about earlier in the game that was missing from the Fury in past seasons has been that offensive uh, player in the mix. From the Tacoma Stars, you see it as well as it cannot only just be Nick Pereira. He needs someone up there too making those kind of passes. And if it's Adam West, their defender, some kind of issues there. Here come the Tacoma Stars. Nick Pereira is going to go ahead and try to get in front of the goal and finds Casares. Back to Adam West. One touch to Nick Pereira. Has his left foot. However, he's going to go ahead and have Jermoy Holloman in front of him trying to get any type of space, but very well defended by Ontario. <coughs> Back to Ramos. Cox, the shot. Saved off the wall and cleared by Frank Tyler with a beautiful bicycle kick. Left back to Nick Pereira. Going to fake and leave it off for Adam West. And a great defensive by DeBroy Holloman with 35 seconds left here in the power play. You got size on the back line with Cissé and Tyler along with Holloman up front with Charlie Gonzalez on this kill. Here's Cox. 24 seconds left in the power play. Israel Cissé trying to go ahead and poke that away. And is doing so very well defensively. Here's Casares. Might have some type of space, but now Holloman in front of him. Nick Pereira. Charlie Holloman in front. Trying to go ahead and get it. anything on goal. Shot by Ramos. Going to be very well deflected and cleared away by Tayu. Five seconds left in the power play. He's going to go ahead and take a shot. Cox in front of the goal. Shoots. Cleared away. And still there. And the power play is over now. Here comes the player, and we're all full on. Ramos. Tries to find Nick Pereira, and he could be a break. Ooh. Holloman had the breakaway if he wanted him, and he knew he knows it. Yeah, just got away. A little bit too aggressive on that touch from Holloman. But what I did like, Jose, on that penalty kill, 
Bodies were flying all over the place. <laughs> Holloman sliding. Uzi Tayu sliding. Cisse sacrificing. All four of those guys, well done from the Ontario Fury on that kill. It shows how much each player wants it. And most importantly, the team wants this win to go ahead and get things going on the winner's circle for them. But can't fall all in through here in the MASL, Brian. This league would just leave you down there and get you uh, hard from digging yourself out that hole. Here's the Tacoma Stars trying to get a shot in very well. Another defensive fly by Stinson. Here's Jermaine Jones. He has him in the other side if he sees him, and he does. However, he gets a defender on him, able to ball him away. Ooh, and he gives it away for Nick Pereira. It could be a costly error. Here's Nick. Has the over with over Ramos. He gives it to him. The shot, and it very well saved by Chris Toe. And the Fury are fortunate there as we saw a shot by Sam Cizette being deflected and out of bounds, but the Fury, what an error by Justin Stinson there, Brian. I generally think he thought it was an yeah. Ontario player. Obviously, that was right to the feet of Pereira, so an error there from Stinson. Recovered somewhat because he got back for that rebound opportunity, but he also gave up a defensive clearance, so here's Pereira over the ball. Yeah, usually there when you see that kind of play me back, it's because the player has eyes in the back of his head, and not so much there for Justin Stinson. In front of the ball now is Casares and Nick Pereira. One, two, three men on the wall for Chris Toth. Casares is going to do the dummy. He's going to be left away for Adam West. A shot. And once again, slid Kyrie Elba. The players from Ontario are flying everywhere to get anything. Getting the ball going in the back of their nets. Here's Casares. He's going to go even further to the, white, to the white side with Cox. Finds Adam West. And still with Casares. Adam West and now the Fury seem to have finally been able to control themselves on the, def on the defensive side. And see what can happen here. Uh, Dan Waltman has the beautiful pass, long touch, and doesn't go so as it goes out of bounds. And it's going to be a throw in for the Ontario Fury as we see a break coming in the action perhaps here as the subs coming in and out for the Fury. But 3-2 first couple of minutes here gone in the second second half I should say Fury luckily to be on top of one goal Brian yeah you know unfortunately they haven't really generated any quality opportunities so far maybe one or two but nothing significant as far as like a flurry of Fury attack but you know build off of these defensive penalty kills obviously giving up those power plays you want to you want to tweak tweak things a little bit and and not have such blatant fouls but you know in that instance in that spot um, you saw uh, Johnny Topete go out for a minor for tripping and then you saw Uzi Tayu go out in the end of the first half uh, but here we are at 3-2 you know there's things that they could build off defensively build it up from the back line mm -hmm. and then generate something offensively their offensive catalysts are present on this team it just hasn't been consistent uh, thing here in the second half so far. Yeah, we haven't seen much of that, like you mentioned. And I mentioned earlier in the broadcast too that in order for to the Fury to be successful, you get to see some of that from Israel. He say, I haven't seen it as much tonight, but rather not. I mean, we haven't seen the Jermaine Jones that we're accustomed to seeing here today either. And some way or another, the Fury find themselves on top of this one, three goals to two. But so far, I don't really like the what the way the Tacoma. Star, I don't like the way the Tacoma Stars have been on impeding their power on top of the Fury so far in the second half. So Fury going to have to go ahead and shake things off, get a couple players in there to get things going on the offensive side, and we'll see the flip of the switch here. We need to see more of Edson Cardona and that connection with uh, Tayu on top, and we'll see the, the floodgates open in terms of more goals. Ball gets started here, and it's Jermaine Jones trying to go ahead and get through a couple players, and he can't do so. It gets a foul. The referee says play on, and he stays, stays on the ground, and it's going to be played until the referees blow the whistle now. As Jermaine seems to have taken a shot to the face as we take a look at the replay here. Fifty-fifty ball there. Fifty-fifty, and I don't know if there is any direct contact to the head there from Hanson. Maybe some indirect contact. Nonetheless, making contact above the shoulders. So now that'll be a blue card here, but a foul call given. It's going to have to be a draw ball. Yeah. Unless they, no, they're going to give it right to Ontario. Fury trying to go ahead and get things going for them at 7.37 left here in the third quarter. Right from beautiful Toyota Arena in 
Ontario, California. Thank you for joining us here through this MASL.TV broadcast that has the Ontario Fury on top of the Tacoma Stars 3-2 in their 2019-20 home opener for Ontario. Here's Tayu. Go back further back with Topete. He's had so far a great start of the season. Seems like out of the, all the Fury players, he's the one that's been in the most rhythm. As we see, long ball here for Jermaine Jones. Going to be left off here looking for Stinson. Bobby played all the way further back for Chris Toth. Here's Tayu, number seven, zero in the back of his jersey looking for Mr. Jermaine Jones, who has a different look this year, Brian. No more long dreads for Jermaine. I asked him at media day if that was going to make him even faster. I um, mean, <laughs> he laughed it off. I mean, obviously... You know, that, that was one of his staple looks, but, uh, you know, maybe it's a new new cut, new new career here in the MASL. We'll see. New cut, who it is, and new season for <laughs> Jermaine Jones. As we see here, Nestor going to go ahead and try to keep on going, trying to find Charlie Gonzalez, takes a boss off of his head and recovered by Tacoma. 1-2, and the referee says play on, no foul. We heard a loud yell. But it was more, more so of the Tacoma star trying to get the foul there and doesn't do so. Here's Tyre. It could be for the Fury. Going to check around the shot. Goal. Goal. Score by the King himself one again. Frank Tayu with his hat trick here tonight. Doesn't miss from there like you mentioned. Brian just swings and strikes it and puts it in the back of the net. And it's 4-2 on Terrell Fury. There's just too much power there. I mean, I think I saw that shot happen in slow motion. As you see on the replay here. Referees are discussing though, Jose. There was a blue card that was being shown ah. by one of the referees along the near side of the pitch. Well, there was a what looked like a potential foul on the Fury. Yeah. As you see the on the, along the near side here, there's a Tacoma star down, and this is where they turn the ball over right this here. Is, this is on Adam West, too. If your player is down there and you pl keep on playing the ball, the Fury, all, that, all they have to do is keep playing, too. They're not going to go ahead and stop a play that they just got to their feet. Unfortunate for Tacoma and the Stars. I see the frustration from Nick Pereira. I understand it, but the foul wasn't called. And here we are. At, uh, I mean, there's no Fury player in the penalty box. No. It is four to two, and the whistle's being blown. And a score update from Turlock Indoor: a three to two, San Diego Soccer's lead. Tight one up there. It looks tight, like tight. Uh, there's some sort of an injury down on the pitch, up in Turlock Indoor. But the two West West uh, Western Conference games here tonight on MASL TV, Jose. Yeah, 4-2 here in Ontario and 3-2 up in uh, Turlock. But like we mentioned, years past, easy trip to go up and go in uh, Turlock and to get a, a victory or not. But not so much this year with the new head coach, Chevo Martinez, and has the Turlock Express up 3-1 overall the record and has them in the contention to make the playoffs early, still early. But if you're at Turlock, you got to be happy with what you're seeing up there up north. Here's... Tacoma trying to go ahead and get something going for Nick Pereira. Long ball here looking. Israel Cease is going to go ahead and put the defender as we see a huge height difference between here, but nothing that stops Israel. Here's Nick Pereira back against his goal. This is when he acts best, his makes decisions. Casares. He finds Captain uh, Ramos. Back to Nick Pereira. Rocking their blue uni tonight. Here's Casares. Offended by Nestor. The, ref, uh, the Fury doing very well defensively so far here tonight. The ball's going to be shot and missed and lost out of bounds. But 4-2, 4.54 left here in the third quarter. I'm lacking what I'm seeing from the Fury so far tonight here, Brian. I've, I've noticed Holloman playing. He's still on the defensive end, but he's up higher a little bit more. I think they want to use his size and his height um, a little bit more to pressure, I would say, earlier on the attack against Tacoma. So far, it's working out. Great shot. Turn! Goal from your Ontario Fury. Goal scored by the King for the fourth time tonight. Frank Tayu, number 15.
making it 5-2 to two for Ontario. He connects with his brother. He gets his goal. He gets the fans up. And uh, Rowdy, it's 5-2 Ontario, Brian. Frank Tayu's right leg is so powerful, Jose. And it's something wow. to be held. I mean, I'm just glad I, he's on our team this year. <laughs> That's all you could hope for for the Fury. He's going to be a headache for the remainder of whoever the Fury is going to be playing on this season. Four goals tonight. Well, you look at Frank, he's right on pace, right? You're talking about a goal scorer who wow. led the MASL multiple seasons, over 70 goals in, in uh, one of the seasons, and he just knows where he is on the pitch at all times. He knows what to do. He knows what type of shot he needs to be successful. He knows how to shield off defenders. He knows how to use that right foot, uh, the power and the pace in every possible instance. And it's just, it's it's a thing of beauty to watch, man. Yeah, former MASL MVP as well with the Solis de Sonora back in 2015-16. He's proving it why he's a hot commodity in the league. He just scores goals at will, does Frank Tayu. But so far, we, we talked about it in the beginning of the game, Brian. We wanted to see Frank and Stinson connect. And boy, have they connected tonight. Four goals from Tayu, a goal from Stinson and assist. We've seen the Fury connecting the way we know they're capable of connecting because they had the talent and the manpower to do so and is coming out here tonight in Ontario. And here's a counterattack here for the Fury. Dwayne Jones trying to find Curiel. Ooh, and it's cut off just in time by the defending to Comers as very well does Corey Keats. Beef it off here. Here comes the uh, Tacoma. Very well defended in the back down, however, by Stinson. Ball being played by Topete. Back to Curiel and Topete. Joseph. Trying to find Uzi Tayu, get the one-two touch, doesn't get through, and here comes Nick Pereira. Be careful, because he's good and lethal in this part of the field. And very well defended by Topete, just pokes that ball away. Here comes the Ontario Fury in the counterattack. Here's Frank Tayu with the king. He has his brother on the other side. He has his brother, he doesn't see him, who cares? In goal! In From the Ontario Fury, scream it, yell it, say it however you want. It is 6-2 to two, Ontario with the Frank, the King, Tayu getting another goal in the back of the net. It's all Ontario, Brian. Uh, he's, he's having fun out there, isn't he? I mean, you're looking at him, you're looking at Nestor Hernandez, his brother Uzi Tayu giving back-to-back -back assists on his back-to-back -back goals, and they're just having fun. This is a game that they need to continue this momentum with. There's still one quarter of play. In the past, the thing that's haunted Ontario Fury teams is giving up those leads. Yeah. They get a 6-2 lead, they get a you know, a four goal cushion. If they don't put another one back uh, in the back of the net here with 3-10 remaining in the third quarter, and then Tacoma gets on late, you know, you talk about momentum, yes, yeah. it absolutely carries on by. Right here, right now, in this third quarter, Frank Tayu is playing a hell of a game. And he had the option to go ahead and open up to the right-hand side with his brother coming in and closing in on the ring, on the right wing. But he said, why am I going to do that if I already have three goals under my name tonight? And just strikes it nothing Walman could do. The walman has been a statue all night. He's just standing around and seeing the shot of the goal. Goal! From the Tacoma Stars, number 87, the Colombian International, Casares finds the back. Alex finally able to go ahead and get something for the Tacoma Stars going into third quarter. It's been all Ontario, but the Tacoma Stars get a set piece here, and Casares puts it in the back of the net. Yeah, I, I just talked about it seconds ago, really. Uh, you look at giving up a foul call there in their defensive third, a simple set piece play. Holloman goes to the ground. Try and deflect it. No, sh no chance there from Toth. Perfect placement from Caceres. And here we are at 6-3. Yeah, now they're back, back into the game like you mentioned. And unfortunately for the Fury, the MASL is like that. One goal gets you right back into it. And Tacoma is just a couple goals from making this interesting again. Here's uh, Adam West. Going to go further all the way back from Tacoma. Casa is the goal scorer, the defender. Trying to get something going here for... Tacoma. Uzi Tayu, the referee says play. Oh, he calls a foul. 
foul on Tayo as he falls on top of defender from the Tacoma Stars. And it's going to be a restart here for Ontario. Excuse me, Tacoma. Alexander Canale falls down. For the back, Nick Pereira turns around and shoots! And goal! Asso! Alex Cáceres just got a goal. Now he has an assist. And yet again, Brian, it's off a set piece. Two goals off a set piece in less than, what, you say a minute? And the Tacoma Stars now just down 6-4. to four. It's a two-goal lead from Ontario. They seemed in the driver's seat literally a minute ago. And now it's up for grabs. Your Cisse <clears throat> trying to go ahead and trying to flip the switch for Ontario. Seemed like the quarter started being all Ontario Fury. They got a couple goals on answer. They went up six goals to two, and now with two minutes and 15 seconds left in the third, it is now six to four Ontario and just a two goal lead. Trying to go ahead and just shake this off and get these going again. Stinson finds Nestor Cardona, trying to go ahead and get the one two touch, and doesn't Hansen gets away, and the referee says play on, and finally gets a foul, a whistle here, and not happy and much to the chagrin of. The Ontario Fury bench. I don't even think he made contact. Mad about that call, Brian. I think it was after the slide of Stinson. Stinson going in. It was a legal slide. It was yeah. fine. No contact on the ball. No contact with the player. But I think the player just fell over trying to go around Stinson. But I did not see Stinson make contact on that slide. Yeah, unfortunately for Stinson, that momentum carried him over to the player too. But... Play on. Here's McCluskey. It's going to go to get it. Try to cut oh. inside. And finally, a That's foul a called one. here. It's a rough foul. Topete gets in the face of McCluskey. He already has a blue card. Should be careful as the referee already called it. But great call by the officials. It was a foul. Topete, uh, luckily, not to get booked again. Yeah, Oof. that was pretty rough right there. You see Pereira holding up his hands. And then Ramos and company trying to make sure. You know, season's greeting. That's all Johnny Topete's <laughs> saying there. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. But I'm glad, really, uh, on a serious note, I'm glad no one got hurt on that play. Oh, yeah. uh, but here we are with Tacoma on the restart. Here's McCluskey in front of the ball. He has Ramos to his right. It's going to be left off here for Adam West. Going to go one touch to his left. A shot! I think Toth got a fingertip to it, I think. If it was, it was a thread wow. off of that glove. But what a, luckily for the Fury, not able to go get in the back was Adam West. But they tried that all night long, that set piece play for Adam West's le preferred left foot. Nothing going for there, there for Tacoma. A minute 20 left here in the third quarter, 6-4. Ontario on top of what's been an interest, interesting and entertaining quarter, to say the least. Here's Nick Pereira trying to get a turn around, find Adam West, and very well defended by Israel Cisse. Going to go ahead and turn around. Excuse me, that's Frank Tacoma. No card there. Cuts off the counter attack, but the referee does blow the whistle. Here's Cisse for Carrillo, trying to go ahead and find a long ball back to Cisse. Controls with his right, going to go up to put, put his left. Cuts inside, has a partner coming in with Topete. Here's Topete. Ooh, horrible first touch, and it could be a breakaway here for Nick Pereira. Very well smart by Topete not to commit any foul as he knew he was already booked. That's Get up, dive. Nick. Get up. He dived. Yeah. And here's the counter attack. As they find him on the side, they have, they have, uh, they have Tayu. They don't find him in this Israel Cisse. Trying to cut the spaces, Adam West, and now it's everyone versus everyone. Here's uh, Charlie Gonzalez, gonna take a shot, and a goal! Goal! Lasso! Goal! Charlie Gonzalez, number 11 for the Fury, Juan Carlos Gonzalez. You have just become the all-time leading goal scorer for the Ontario Fury with his 64th, 65th goal there, Charlie Gonzalez. 66th goal. He was tied with a familiar name in Tino Nunez and franchise goals with 65. Well, that pass from Izzy Cisse and Charlie Gonzalez's finish it is goal number 66, and you are looking at the franchise leader. Amazing here from Ontario. The ability to go ahead and get a goal when the opposing team, Tacoma Stars, was just completely controlling you.
offensively. Able to go ahead and get that. But if you're Charlie Gonzalez, what a way to go ahead and get the record with an amazing goal. And that's all that he's done throughout his career here in Ontario. Congratulations to uh, Juan Carlos Gonzalez. Yeah, fifth year player, local product. Cox to the rebound and a goal. It should be all him. It should be for number 11, Jamal Cox, seven to five. He started the whole play. Unfortunately for Tacoma, uh, Alessandro Canale not able to get that ball in the back, but it gets uh, able to find the foot of Jamel Cox. And if you miss from there, turn the lights off and go home. He doesn't do that, and it's 7-5 to five on Tacoma right back in it. 4.1 seconds left in that third quarter. 4.1. It's been so a story I, of the whole season. I'm going to stop talking about certain things that I've seen because it's all unfolding right now in this third quarter. And it's just a two-goal lead here for Ontario. Three, two, one. As we hear the buzzing sounds, everybody going to head into the fourth quarter with just a two-goal lead for Ontario. But goals galore here from uh, the beautiful Toyota Arena, uh, Brian. Yeah, uh, first home game, obviously, in the 2019-2020 campaign. A thriller with a slew of goals so far tonight. 12 goals in total. Obviously, the star for... The Ontario Fury, Frank Taiyu, five goals, and I believe an assist as well. His brother Uzi getting in on the party, does have a pair of assists, uh, and did assist Frank on those back goals that made a 6-2 game. But 7-5, I touched on it before the third quarter was done. Not only giving up the lead, a four-goal lead was very quickly cut in half with a pair of unanswered goals from Tacoma. And then responding back is Ontario. And then rightfully so, giving up that last second goal here in the third quarter. I didn't want to see anything late because momentum does carry over with these short intermittent uh, breaks between quarters. But here we are, 7-5. to five. Some good takeaways is that Tayu is uh, really going Man. off in this game. And then, you know, defensively, they've fine-tuned things so far in this third quarter. We'll be back with the fourth quarter from Ontario, California. The right gear matters. Introducing the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this. A bash plate for that. An electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. Move towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. Our revived joint replacement program offers board certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision for improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint. Each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and an individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods, and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Core is transforming lives and communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcore.org. And we're back here to start the fourth quarter as the Ontario Fury find themselves up by two goals against the Tacoma Stars. Live from beautiful Toyota Arena in Ontario, California, I am Jose Duran along with Brian Tabajay. Thank you for joining us in this broadcast through MASL.TV. So far, the Fury seem to be in control in the third quarter, Brian, but just things, to hap things, to ha then things tend to happen like they do here in Arena Soccer. A couple <coughs> goals get you right back in it, and the Tacoma Stars got a couple, couple goals right quickly for uh, Tacoma to get back in it. I need the Ontario Fury to, to close this game in the fourth quarter. A two-goal cushion in MASL is not a good enough cushion. A four-goal cushion is not a good enough cushion. Yeah. They need to really put their foot down in this fourth quarter, make things happen defensively, capitalize on the offensive end, 
and you know see if we can get people involved. We've seen Stinson be successful. We've seen obviously Tayu, who's been a hell of a player in this uh, match here tonight, as Stinson uh, with the first shot of the fourth quarter. But I, I really want them to end this game on a good note. Absolutely. Mentally, for the team, it'll do it, it'll do wonders. I mean. You can't relinquish this lead, especially here in the in the season home opener here at Toyota Arena. You really got to build off of this two-goal lead. You got to make your stamp in this fourth quarter and, and put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. Tie you on the turnover, a back heel attempt. Stinson's at a settle and volley and finish. Give him two goals so far on the night. And a Stinson living up to a, all I'm saying tonight. Oh. As a volley attempt there off of the right foot. Bending outside. Did get some contact yeah. there. Look, look so at Corey see. Keats' slide. Not the best slide. Look. Oh. Wow. That was a little dangerous for, for both players involved. But Stinson yeah. making it 8-5 to five here early on in the fourth quarter. Exactly what we needed. Got that lucky bounce somehow off that deflection from the defender. Gets right to Stinson's face. And as a forward, that is just like candy for a child in a candy store. He saw it, just lit that up with his right foot, and bam, back of the net. And it gets it for the Fury. Just the doctor order, just what they needed. Back to a three-goal lead. Some cushion now, Brian. It looks like Michael Ramos a little frustrated with, uh, you know, defensively, who's, who's getting paired up with him on the defensive end as Jermaine Jones, that ball was intended from Uzi Tayu to Jermaine Jones, but now Caceres on the attack. But I was saying Ramos, no matter if it's Cardona, the rookie, Charlie Gonzalez, or as you see here, double teaming on Pereira, Ontario defensively really up, upping their, uh, their pressure across the board, no matter who's on the pitch. Yeah, all the players we saw on the power play with bodies flying everywhere. Blocking the shots, trying to get in front of the defenders. That's all you can ask for for your uh, team defensively. And just close every space that you can. And minor errors here and there have the Fury somehow uh, still in this game, the Tacoma Stars. But it's been a great work defensively overall for Ontario. A clearance there off of the, the defensive third from Alvarado. And Waltman will lay it off to Caceres. Fourth quarter just underway here, but a Pereira on the turn, and then it was Toth off of his back Ooh. line, making sure there was no real quality attempt there from Nick Pereira. I'm not sure if that was intended or more so of a lucky bounce. Either way, it looked nice, but luckily for the Fury, it uh, doesn't end up in the back of the net. The main scoreboard here at Toyota Arena not displaying the proper time, but on the mid-level ticker, so to speak, 12-15 right here in the fourth grade. And now Pereira to the near side, defended from Uzi Tayu. Tayu just the slightest of touches there. And McCluskey will regain possession. And then it is Pereira. And the rookie Cardona trying to get it out of harm's way. Wide shot there from Tacoma. Volley attempt. And then <laughs> how about that play from Uzi Tayu? Straight up. And now a bouncing ball near midfield. Quality. Defense there from the Ontario Fury. Wow. That definitely would have bounced in for Hanson and company. Uzi Tayu playing the spoiler. Right place, right time for Uzi Tayu. Prevents a goal to the back in it, going to the back of the net. Or else it's 8-6, and the Tacoma Stars are right back in this. Stinson applying pressure along with Tayu. Tayu will go around his defender. Draw another from Hanson. Ooh. Referee says play on. Tayu upset, rightfully so. Swarm defensively there. No way to completely avoid contact. Nonetheless, to come up with the ball. West with real estate of room. And now Tayu at midfield. Feels out for one defender. Plays off of him. Oof. And Waltman, well done from the Tacoma goalkeeper. Reads that play from Tayu. Tayu's gassed. He'll get some rest off the pitch. Yeah. Far ball to the... Far side corner, that is Canale. Defended there from Charlie Gonzalez. 
your Ontario Fury Friends leader in goals with 66. Uzi Tayu getting pulled. Finally a, a whistle. Either way, I was going to say someone's going to get a foul call here. Oh, yeah. Fortunately for Ontario, it was Neagle. A little frustrated there with Uzi Tayu and drew the foul. Deep ball now sent in for Jermaine Jones. He's been quiet tonight, huh? Yeah. Good for the Fury that a night where Jermaine Jones has maintained himself quiet with no goals and not much action. They're still up 8-5. Uh, Jesus Pacheco, one of the new Fury players, local talent, picked up on open tryouts on the pitch. Found a little bit of playing time not too long ago in this second half, but here he is along the near side. Trying to go around Cox. And Tacoma will reset. So far, a great start from the fourth quarter for Ontario. One able to get the goal, and two, they seem a lot more comfortable on the pitch. And in terms of, all right, we'll play defensively, but we'll also be a great uh, threat on the counter attack. So for the Fury, uh, look at Wallman. Wallman going all the way up, trying to generate something for the Stars. And their leading goal scorer wide there, but Cissé on the clearance. And Ontario's going to have to try and Get something out of their defensive half. But Pacheco on the pitch. How about this, man? You're a 19-year-old kid at a Northridge making the first team squad, and you're playing alongside Jermaine Jones. Yeah. Uh, national team experience, obviously. Shot wide there from West. Good and save. Cissé will clear it up to Jermaine Jones. On the attack, Caceres. And now he plays it too. Cissé, uh. what a pass from Jermaine Jones. And a finish from Izzy Cisse. Ontario lead 9-5. to five. Ontario Fury's player Topete Elwood go ahead and give Jermaine Jones some props as he deserves it. Gets in his sister, does Jermaine. Great ball put to Israel Cisse. He puts it right to his foot where Israel, all he has to do is just get that tap in. Control the ball first, get that in front of you, tip it over Wallman. Nothing Danny could do there. It is 9-5 to five, Ontario. Yeah, I mean, I am I think five for five for everything that I've mentioned <laughs> on the broadcast, and it just unfolds. I, I said going. Jermaine Keep Jones is, do it. has been quiet. Here he gets a, you know, the dime of the game so far, so to speak, and Jermaine Jones on the stat sheet. That's but all we needed. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just go out and say they solidify the win then and see if that fulfills. Here we go with Tayu. Does have Hernandez. And Holloman to the far side. Gets it to Holloman. He'll settle it down. Defended there from Cox. Goes around one defender. And Caceres, wow, that miscommunication leg. there. Hernandez gets a layoff to Charlie Gonzalez. Deep ball sent in for Frank Tayu. Trying to earn the ball back. Oof. Alvarado with the turnover. And now Tacoma. Caceres on the break. Tried to get it past. Seems like Tayu is the giant wall of defense for Ontario. Here tonight, and no difference on that possession as he settles it down along the near side glass. And it's sort of like a double threat with uh, defending us with the speed. You see the speed over there with Alvarado getting back and the height too. So the Fury very well defensively tonight. Let's see if Stinson is still shaken up from that contact early on in this quarter. Usually he was paired up with Tayo. And it looks like head coach Ooh. Jimmy Nordberg, Charlie Gonzalez with a turnover. Wide shot there off of the foot of the Tacoma Stars and Corey Kites. Excuse me, Keats. Now it is Cardona. Oof. Tries to thread the needle to Jermaine Jones. And he'll secure the ball safely. But I was saying Stinson. Oh, he's back on the pitch, so that's a good sign. Yeah. He was looking to get back on about a change ago, and he looked a little frustrated because he was normally been on the pitch with Tayu all night. Maybe he's trying to generate something with Jermaine Jones now. Get him Jones going. on the pitch with Stinson. Overlapping run for Cissé. He'll recollect, slow things down. Jones asking for that deep ball sent in. No one has delivered yet. And now it's tilt with 6.35 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Player down, that is Cissé. 
along the far side. I love seeing from the Fury so far though. Now they're up nine to five. Now they have a comfortable lead. Assert your dominance over the other team and that's what they're doing now, touching the ball comfortably. You're seeing players moving in the space, making the runs. And that only all helps your team on the long run because you get more chemistry, you get it more uh, used to one another. And once a team gets that going, that's great. As Toth now, well off of his back line. The deep ball sent in. That was Cardona. But now to come on the break, across midfield in their attacking third, looking for reinforcements. Nothing doing as Cox jumps onto the pitch finally to help out his teammate. Left footed shot attempt is off of the foot defensively. That was Neagle who took the attempt. But the bet is on everything tonight. Got the deflection out, gets back defensively. Yeah, sure, he doesn't have the speed, but whenever he gets your body in front of him or whenever he's in front of you, it's a hard player to go around, and it's a great plus for the Fury. So commercial break here on the pitch, a timeout, I should say, on the pitch. Fans want to remind you, kick this outside of being on the team. The best way to know what's happening in the MASL is to tune in and to kick this. Every weekend, Soccer Sam discusses the ins and outs of all MASL action. Find kick this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern on iHeartRadio. After this commercial break, we'll be back with the remaining 6.01 here from Toyota Arena. The right gear matters. Introducing the all new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket, get any truck. Heading out here, get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. Move towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. Our revived joint replacement program offers board certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision. For improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint, each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and an individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Ontario, California, a 9-5 lead for the home team, Ontario Fury, kicking off their MASL campaign here in 2019 and 2020. So far, successful against the visiting Tacoma Stars. They've already matched up with the Stars this season. It was a, an 8-5 victory for the Tacoma Stars just last Sunday. As Nick Pereira on the restart here, Jamel Cox... There's a needle on that shot, Toth in the end with a save for Ontario. You got Nestor Hernandez, Johnny Topete, Izzy Cisse, and the Taiyu brothers on the field for Ontario. Frank has five goals on his own tonight. Out of the nine, Stinson with a pair of goals. You got Cisse who's on the side of that stat as well. And here we are with Frank Tayu trying to go around Caceres. No luck there in that opportunity. Prayer now defended there from Cisse, tied up, and they'll give that foul call on Izzy Cisse. So it'll be a restart to the far side, 518 remaining. And I, you know what? That was so fast. That was so fast off the restart. Pereira successfully finds the back of the net. And it is a 9-6 to six Ontario Fury lead. Caceres and Pereira. We've said those two names quite often here tonight. They're scoring goals together in the same squad for the Tacoma Stars, but Nick Pereira, what a shot. The power behind his shot, his right leg. Nick could do it all. He could assist, he could score, he could coach, and he has the Tacoma Stars within three with 5.13 left here in the fourth quarter. So that's a hat trick for Pereira. He finds the back of the net again against 
Chris Toth and company. Out of the goals, what's your most impressive? For what I, from the individual style, type of play, Justin yeah. Stinson's goal. Wow. That should probably, if not be in the st uh, Sports Center highlights, it should be just because of the individual talent that he scored. But from what it means to the team to go with Charlie Gonzalez scored and just the, the fact that they're up nine and the fact that they scored nine goals, Brian, we haven't said that in a while. Empty goal here for Ontario. Cardona! The rookie finds the back of the net, and that's two points on tonight. An assist earlier on, and he gets an open net goal here tonight. It is 10 to 6, Ontario. Look at the way everyone's celebrating with the rookie. Look at the way Holloman's jumping on him. Look at the way all his teammates are hugging and celebrating the youngster. It shows the kind of player he is. It shows the excitement. Look at the way he reacts to once he scores a goal. He wants to be here. He wants to be successful. But most importantly, he is having fun tonight. 10-6, Ontario. And hopefully, Brian, hopefully, a final nail on the coffin now. Can we get a hat trick of assists then from Jermaine? Because that's <laughs> a pair of assists. That was pretty much the spitting image yeah. of his assist to Cisse uh, not too long ago. But 4.30 remaining here from Toyota Arena in Southern California, the Inland Empire. It was a little chilly actually today. Oh, so yeah. fans trickled in after, shortly after uh, kickoff here tonight. The holiday's just around the corner. Are you done with your shopping? I haven't even started. Yeah, that's a, that's a male answer if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say that I'm finished either, but I did start at least. So Pereira and company, they go on a six-game, I believe, Jose, six-game road trip. Wow. So they'll visit San Diego on Sunday. They'll travel to St. Louis, Kansas City, Mesquite, and Dallas as he finds the back of the net again. That is Ramos. So Ramos trying to make things interesting here with 347 remaining. It's not over yet. Makes it a 10-7 game. I believe that was an assist to Pereira. So Pereira is just filling up the stat sheet like crazy tonight. What's interesting to talk about, I mean, we've been hailing Ontario so far, you know, and throughout the game, and it was, it was so far in the first half, not so much in the second, their defensive attitude. It's been great, it's been great. But has it been really great when you allowed seven goals? It's a question that Jimmy Norbert is going to have to go ahead and answer throughout the week. But most importantly, I mean, they're up here 10-7, to seven, which is the most important thing. But just little mistakes here and there. What a ball. What a ball from Stinson. That almost worked out beautifully for Frank Tayo. But you bring up a great point. And speaking to head coach Jimmy Nordberg pregame, he said training went really well. They had to fine-tune a few things like you spoke of on the defensive end, Jose. And with 3.15 remaining, let's see if they can challenge themselves here. I mean, with the extra attacker on, of course you're gonna naturally step back into a, a, a zone defense yeah. to try and prevent anything, but yeah, we'll see if the remaining few minutes here in the they can you know, really concentrate and focus on relinquishing yet another goal. Yeah, hopefully the Fury could go ahead and do what the Tacoma Stars did to them in the last couple of minutes of the game up in uh, the Excessive Showwear Arena when they got multiple goals in the last couple seconds when that extra player was on. Toth with a, I mean, he made it look so easy on that attempt. It was a left-footed shot attempt from the far side off the foot of Caceres. As you see here on the replay, one-time shot there. Made it look easy, but... And the other Western Conference tilt up north in Turlock. It is a 4-4 four four contest in the fourth quarter. Yeah, the Turlock Express were up 4-3 on that contest. The San Diego Stars just got a goal in a couple of minutes ago. But you talk about a physical game up here in the Toyota Arena between these two. That game has been physical. Blue cars running everywhere. Players getting in front of their faces. But so far, the Express uh, able to go ahead and contain the San Diego Soccer's team, who's a very well and one of the contenders here for the MASL uh, Ron Newman playoffs this year. But 4-4 in that game. 10-7 here in our game in Toyota Arena. The Fury looking very well offensively. So if they could play like this, Brian, and, use, and show this type of spectacle on the offensive side every game, Look out, look out, because this team will come in balls blazing offensively, and they have 
uh, the ability to score ten plus goals on you on any given night? Well, it starts it starts with that. Obviously, you got to put the ball in the into the net, right? You look at their team defensively. McNeely's gonna be back after his uh, his out or scratch from tonight. You got veteran leadership on the back line, right? You got Johnny Topete. You got Izzy Cisse. Uh, the youngster, DeBray Holloman. I shouldn't call him the youngster anymore because this is his, yeah. his second season. Technically, uh, you got three <laughs> rookies uh, on the team as well. So four rookies on the team. Um, but you look at their their back line defensively. I mean, there's a lot of size and there's a lot of veteran leadership. Uh, Uzi Tayu, another standout who's been having a heck of a game here tonight oh, as yeah. well. Those guys are going to be the anchors um, for this Ontario Fury team to really – make a statement uh, in, in each and every contest that they match up with. Yes, the offense will come, but defensively, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll be back to Toyota Arena in just a second after this commercial break. The right gear matters. Introducing the all new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. Back here from Ontario, California. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside Jose Duran. A thrilling back and forth match here tonight. A 10-7 score with 2.20 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Highlights all over the place for the Ontario Fury. Frank Tayu netting five goals. Justin Stinson getting a pair of goals. Izzy Cisse uh, getting on the stat sheet as well. And then of course Charlie Gonzalez breaking through getting his 66th Goal, that is a franchise leading 66 goal for the fifth year player in Charlie Gonzalez. I think the only thing missing from those headlines is the Fury wins. So hopefully in the next two minutes able, they're able to close out this game completely and get out of here with a victory and, and get a W in the win column for them. Extra attacker on for Tacoma. Like I started to mention, Tacoma's gonna hit the road as the shot goes wide there. But Tacoma's gonna hit the road for quite some time, San Diego, St. Louis, Kansas City, Mesquite, and Dallas after tonight's contest. So some tough games coming up here for Tacoma as Ontario will play on Sunday as well. Nick Romando night here in the Toyota Arena with the Major League Soccer legendary goalkeeper from the Real Salt Lake. Nick Romando will be here all night as the Honorary captain for that game, so make sure you get out here. Kickoff at 3.05 from the Toyota Arena it will be the uh, Ontario Fury versus the Turlock Express on Nick Romano night. That energy that Tayu is displaying right now after that sliding defensive deflect right there. I mean, it forces a corner, but he's just, he just he got up and just started yelling. Like, that, that type of energy is what's been missing here on the Ontario Fury side, and hopefully this continues here for, for this squad. He loves it. He was earlier on the game, too, just hitting the boards as he was on the bench. One, riding up his teammates, and two, just showing the passion that he plays with. And, man, if you play with some, that kind of player, you're going to go out and play with him 100% every time. Charlie Gonzalez just wide with the extra attacker on and an empty net for Tacoma. And 40 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. I feel like folks could finally start clapping and <sighs> breathing a sigh of relief as the Fury seem they're going to come out here uh, victorious tonight, Brian. It doesn't seem it's going to happen right now. <laughs> 31.6 seconds remain. The Ontario Fury will play host to the Turlock Cal Express on Sunday the 22nd. Game time at 3.05. And they'll play Saturday, next Saturday the 28th, against the Solas de Sonora Club here at Toyota Arena. Oh, 22 seconds remaining. It is all but finalized here from Toyota Arena in the Inland Empire. DeBray Holloman gets a blue card, a late foul. 
As you see Frank Taillou in the in on the screen. What a Multiple game. goals wow. tonight. I mean, this guy's had a finish. Twice he's had over 50 goals in a season. Once he's had over 70 goals in a season. He knows how to finish. That's just what he does. So it was deflating to see it their last contest in the regular season last year. Yeah. When Frank and the Monterey Flash came in and took the Ontario Fury out of the playoffs, which coincidentally propelled this team here, the visiting Tacoma Stars, into the playoffs. But it is nice to see him on our side. Oh, yeah. Ontario's just... continuing to get these free agent um, signings that are franchise players. A couple seasons ago, it was a Chris Toth. Last season, it was uh, Frank and his brother Uzi. So if this continues, it's nothing but uh, sky's the limit here for Ontario. It is final from Toyota Arena. A 10-7 victory for the Ontario Fury. They sit at one and two. They look to draw 500 on Sunday, Jose. Yeah, hopefully they drive 500. Once again, Nick Romano night here in the Toyota Arena. But for the Fury, I mean, it was too, it's too early to talk about must wins. But this one definitely had the feel of that tonight as they needed to go ahead and get into that winner's circle. They do with 10 goals on the night for the Ontario Fury. Five of them coming from that man, the king. He had everyone rising here onto their feet, celebrating goal after goal after goal after goal. He takes five goals tonight. It's 10 to seven Ontario Fury. Up next, the Cow Turlock Express here in the Toyota Arena on Sunday. So far, they're still locked. Excuse me, San Diego just got a goal. San Diego just got a goal to go up 5-4 up in that game. That game's still going up in Turlock, but the Ontario Fury get up here victorious, 10 to seven in a great game uh, for Ontario, Brian. They needed it, both on the offensive side uh, and overall defensively for the team. I know seven goals. Uh, nothing you really, I mean, yes, you outscored the opponents. That's the name of the game, right? Yeah. But seven goals, that's the room for improvement there. That's the window. Giving up the eight goals to Tacoma not too long ago and then the four goals in San Diego. Uh, you want to fine-tune things just a little bit more. They'll be a really dangerous team uh, to look out uh, throughout this uh, campaign in 2019 and 2020. Yeah, and that's the thing that, that we have to look at for here for the Fury. On paper, the names that they have and what they provide on the field, the Fury are one of the better teams in the league. Now it's just getting things to click, and these type of games are what gets it clicking for players. Ten goals on one night doesn't just happen. It's a team play. Players are connecting. Things are being done. Players are making runs, pulling defenders, and that's happening. Balls are getting put in the back of the net. Great game for the Fury. A little bit of uh, mishaps in the back defensively, but overall, a great game and a one night for that man, Charlie Gonzalez, get, getting his uh, record-breaking goal here for Ontario. Charlie Gonzalez with this franchise-leading 66th goal of his MASL career. Local kickoff time on Sunday the 22nd, 3.05, as the Turlock Cal Express will visit Toyota Arena here for the this season. Let's see if Ontario can climb back into the 500 and get even on a 2-2 two two record this season. A 10-7 victory for the home team, Ontario Fury. You've been watching all the action right here on MASL TV. We'll see you next time on Sunday. The right gear matters. Introducing the all new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. towards a better life with the Orthopedic and Robotic Center at Casa Colina. 
Our Revive Joint Replacement Program offers board-certified orthopedic surgeons and robotic surgical precision for improved fit, balance, and feel of your new joint. Each patient benefits from a dedicated orthopedic team and an individualized surgical plan for less pain, quicker recovery, and improved outcomes. Casa Colina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, where better begins. Everyone deserves a safe, clean place to call home, where children can grow and thrive. At National Community Renaissance, we are addressing our nation's housing crisis, building in tough neighborhoods, and creating communities that support academic achievement, economic mobility, and improved health. With an integrated team of professionals, National Corps is transforming lives in communities in California, Florida, Texas, and Arkansas. To learn more, visit nationalcorps.org.